Well, Michigan it already ranks last in terms of uh, unethical behavior and lack of transparency and compound that with probably the most urgent health crisis currently going on in the country. We got a total mess here. Uh, and the biggest problem is we don't know what the governor knew, we don't know when he knew it, and there's been a lot of inaction uh, as a result. I've been uh, calling for an expansion of the Freedom of Information Act since I took office last year. Um, not with any foresight that it would be pertinent in a public health crisis in our state. Uh, the governor announced tonight that he's finally going to release his emails, but there's a lack of oversight in that process um, when he gets to pick and choose which emails to release and how this crisis came about. Another aspect that I'm really dismayed about that kind of was glossed over tonight is that all of this is the result of an emergency manager law that placed an undemocratic dictator, for lack of a better term, in Flint who oversaw this whole process that allowed kids in Flint to be poisoned. That law was repealed by voters uh, in November of 2012, and this governor pushed this legislature to pass the law again uh, a month later. So all of these sorries, all of these I'll make it betters, um, don't resonate with me because he had the opportunity uh, to make it better by agreeing with the voters to dissolve emergency managers in our state and he had the opportunity to make it better when he first learned of the crisis last year and he had the opportunity to make it better by releasing the information that he knew when he knew it uh, but that hasn't happened so everything tonight was really just uh, another sorry example uh, of, of uh, failed leadership at the top